So a little peace and serenity returns to the commentary box after the delights of the Whitbread Gold Cup. It's a two mile six furlong, nought to ninety handicap now. Palawi Buckle at the top for Thomas Rogers, Anisa Bunny for Stu Gray, Princess for Alex Cherry, Billy Rubin, Matt Cooper, Calaf Acres, Thomas Rogers, Simon Apri and Flint, Derek Hinton, Fair Fame, Stu Gray, and Icon Dream for Matt Cooper. So eight of the men in this nought to ninety. And away we go in the rain. And sign up Rare Flint is going to be the first one to show as they get to these the first of the 11 hurdles, 11 flights of hurdles that they've got to take. And sign up Rare Flint he is three to four lengths clear on Fair Fame and Palawi Buckle. And Icon Dream is fourth as they get over the second. And the leader, sign up Rare Flint, is not hanging about and has quickly opened up by five or six lengths. The rest of them virtually in a line with the exception of. Calaf Acres and Billy Rubin. But it's Sona Prayer Flint. Clear in front. Princess in the orange sleeves is second. And on the outside, the first of Stu Gray's two fair fame. Stu Gray and Thomas Rogers both got two in this. So too's Matt Cooper. Alex Cherry's just got the one. And so's Derek Hollywood Hinton, who's currently in the lead. So on a prayer flint, five clear. Oh, Icon Dream second, Prince Sense third. In Fair Fame four. And Palawi Buckle five. Canavaker six. And Billy Rubin at the back. Oh, I don't know how I managed to do that, but uh, I only counted seven and then eight in it, so I must have missed one out. Anyway, so on a prayer flint is in the lead. Icon Dream is in second, Prince Sense is third, and he's a bunny on the inside. It's fourth. That wasn't what I missed out, I think. Then Palawi Buckle is fifth. Sixth is Fair Fame, seventh is Calaf Acres, and eighth is Billy Rubin. I'm still a little bit high after the last race. Taking a 1 2 in my favourite race of the season. It's pretty good. And it's Song on a Prayer Flint in the lead. And Prince in second. And Icon Dream third. Sorely tempted to return next season and see if I can win it again. Bucko was second. Having won it two seasons ago. Maybe we both would have come back next season. I have two chances of having a repeat winner, but maybe we're just getting a little bit ahead of ourselves there. And we'll concentrate on this race instead. Someone a prayer flint in the lead. A good five lengths clear of Princess in second. Icon Dream third, and then Palawi Buckle and Fair Fame. He's a bunny after that one. And then Billy Rubin and finally Calaf Acres at the back. So they're racing downhill in there. Someone a prayer flint has led all the way so far. A bit of bowl along in the lead. Prince in second. Icon Dream is third. Fair Fame is fourth. Skip over the next. I feel we're getting a little bit closer to the leader as they take the seventh. The lead is down to a little more than three. With Princess in second. Icon Dream third. Fair Fame four. That's almost like Falkirk four, isn't it? Falkirk four. He's five four, or whatever it is in the football. The result they don't want. He's five four. Falk no four five. That is not Falkirk. 454, that's it, 454 and he's 55. Or is it worse if it's 455, he's 54? I don't know. But anyway, Fair Fame is not fourth anymore either, it's third now. And it's on a prayer flint who's got to land over the third last. Those of you who are not British probably won't have a clue what I want about, but I think everybody in this is. If uh, poor old Sirius was in this race, he wouldn't have had a clue what I was on about there. 454, he's 55. Song on a prayer flint in the lead from Princess in second and Fair Fame in his third. I'm going to second that one as the leader kicks on again. There's only two flights to take, and a lot of these haven't really got going at all. And Song on a prayer flint might steal this from the front. Princess and Fair Fame look at the moment to be the only two with much of a chance of catching him. 
But they come down towards the second last, although now Can of Acres and Billy Rubin are starting to run on as well. And Song on a Prayer Flint is beginning to tread water as Fair Fame sweeps into the lead. But a good jump by Song on a Prayer Flint and a good jump by Prince. And suddenly it's three in a line with one to go. Two furlongs to go and one to jump. And it's Fair Fame who's hit the front now. And Fair Fame still ground man in form, especially over the timber. And it's Fair Fame who's two to three lengths clear now. But Song on a Prayer Flint is coming back. Fair Fame though looks to be stronger. And Can of Acres is chasing. Hard in third, but a grade one trainer stealing a nought to 90. What is he thinking of? He really should be ashamed of himself, and he's probably going to get beaten now anyway, just for that. It's Fair Fame and Gunner Fakers, and he's been caught on the line, whichever post you look at it at. Well, what can I say? If you're going to be a grade one trainer and you're going to throw your horse in a nought to 90 early, you deserve to get caught on the line. Mr. Stu Gray, hang your head. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that after all this going on at me and the Hunters, but Carfakers takes it for Thomas Rogers. Fair fame for Grade 1 winning trainer Stu Gray second. Billy Rubin third for Matt Cooper. Sign a prayer Flint for Derek Hinton fourth. And a Bunny for that rotter Stu Gray fifth.